Elizabeth Vargas, and this is 2020 in Touch. Here's what we're working on for this week's special edition of 2020. If you don't vote, you're a moron. Let's go Lately, there's been a big push to get young people to vote. Go register to vote if you're 18 years old. At some rock concerts, between songs, musicians say things like, Please participate this year by casting your vote. Mark Brownstein, bassist for a band called the Disco Biscuits, and his friend Andy Bernstein co-founded Headcount, a group that registers young people. We've registered over 100,000 people. It is so imperative that this generation's voice is heard, and they are being heard. Yeah. At that concert, we asked some newly registered voters some basic questions. Some were knowledgeable. There are two senators from each state, making a total of 100. The Bill of Rights is the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. But most were not. Uh, there's 51 states in the U.S. 52? How many senators are there? 50 per state. Five per state. Seven. Oh no. I want to say 12. Am I so wrong? And what is Roe v. Wade? Roe versus Wade's segregation, maybe? Was Roe versus Wade where we declared bankruptcy? No, that was about a black person and a white person. Isn't knowledge important to voting? <laughs> There's a lot of uninformed voters out there. So at maybe they shouldn't vote. It's an argument that really, really smacks against everything we hold dear as Americans. Democracy is not about taking the most educated portion of the society and having them decide. But maybe Here that's their are. civic duty not to vote because uh, well, we they don't, don't know anything. We don't believe it's their civic duty not to vote. We're out there telling them that it is their civic duty to vote. Maybe it's not fair to pick on kids at a rock concert. Let's go to our nation's capital. Certainly people here will know more, won't they? I showed them some pictures. Everyone knew Obama and McCain. Maybe half the people knew who this was. Tina Fey, just kidding. It's Governor Palin. But Joe Biden? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Few people recognize Supreme Court Justice Ginsburg. I don't know. But this judge? Oh, judge Judy. <laughs> Maybe 75% of people can name the vice president. The public's knowledge of politics is shockingly low. Economist Brian Kaplan argues in his book, The Myth of the Rational Voter, that people who know little about our government ought to stay home on Election Day. We always hear it's our civic duty to vote. This is very much like saying it's our civic duty to give surgery advice. Now, we like to think that political issues are much less complicated than brain surgery, but many of them are pretty hard. If someone doesn't know what he's talking about, it really is better if they say, look, I'm just going to leave this in wiser hands. Voting is serious business. If you care about being heard, please vote. Instead of rock the vote, maybe they should say rock or vote. I'm really starting to doubt myself a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't vote. <laughs> Good for her. Democracy works best when people educate themselves. So I'm relieved if people like her stay home on election day. But will she? No, that was a lie. Of course I'm going to vote. Oh, well, there are three weeks to election day. Maybe she'll be up to speed by then. We hope you'll watch 2020 on the air every Friday night and keep stopping by online for our daily webcasts and previews of our upcoming stories. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. For all of us at 2020, we're in touch, so you be in touch.